Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 17 and 18 of season 2 of k So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, I didn't check to see- okay, but it's not there, thank god. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you can't use it. I know. <laughs> Hopefully today with episode 17 and 18 copies, I don't get something like I got with episode 16 last week because last week's copy, like at the end of that, kind of screwed me over because I had to go back um, and like make sure everything was okay. But the copy was just really messed up. And no matter what I did, I just couldn't do anything for it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm we have like I have nine episodes left honestly and it feels like I just started the series and now we're almost done and it's been about a couple of months since I've done the show three four months Oh, tender construction. Was it just water? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What about Tom Chum? So then where else can you practice? I mean, you could practice at movie house. Oh, thank God. Ten days?
too loud, sorry. Hmm. Maybe you should play without the amps. Yeah, I think that would be good. I think you'd be okay. Okay, the gym's good. Oh, wait, no, they're practicing in there, too. Yeah. Of course you are, Moogie. I know. <laughs> Neil? Yes, I hope so too. I mean, there should at least be maybe a couple of classrooms that, you know, doesn't really have anything in there. But it just sucks that they can't do anything. Because either they're too loud or other people are too loud. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice, you know? Maybe you just rehearse at somebody's house.
Yeah. So just show your school you um my dude. You guys don't have school IDs? Yes. Nice though. I know. <laughs> Mookie, what are you doing? Yeah, because there's a camera. <laughs> yeah, drink outside and then come back in. Oh, then, Jan, did you forget to write, babe? No. Go, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it was so good, though. No, I don't think that's it. I think that could be a fire alarm light. Oh. Uh. 
true. Really? Oh, thank God. I know, but thank God. She doesn't have enough room. Yeah, at least. Oh. <laughs> Because Uwe helped. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. she was mostly up all night, right? Yeah. No, please don't. Oh, Jesus. The spam bed. But you need to see him, bud.
Oh, really? Good job, honey. Oh, no, me, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe they're going to use it. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so sweet. Like, I wasn't expecting her to, like, officially write a song, like, titled You and I. Like, that kind of really just reminds me of the Lady Gaga song, except, you know, Yumi's song is more chill and not upbeat, but it could be like an upbeat song as well. But the fact that, you know, Ui, help Yui write three songs, and then Yui wrote one by herself with no help, like, baby, the falling, like, oh my god, because, like, having everyone write some lyrics was really interesting. And then the sad thing, also losing the classroom uh, at the same time, and then they couldn't practice. But honestly, I'm thinking, like, when the light went off, I was like, yeah, that looks like a fire alarm thing. But then, you know, a fire alarm would have went off. But so I'm sitting here, I'm like, what the heck could it be? Because typically when you go to, like, even to a karaoke bar, from what I know from um, Agatha Fratsu, um, at a karaoke bar, they give you a call. I, I would have assumed that they would have did the same thing, at least while they were practicing and such. And they probably would have heard the phone call. I mean, well, not the phone call, the phone ringing and such. But, you know, when you jam in too much, like, you ain't gonna, you're drowning out all that noise. When it's just, you're focusing on you and nothing else, you're not gonna hear anything but the music. You're not gonna hear any, like, voices, any phone calls, nothing. But it was a really sweet, interesting episode. And, I mean, it was a kind of a sweet thing. Also bad that they lost the classroom for a couple of days. Wait, what? Are you serious? No, no, wait, hold on. Is it a play? Because, like, if me, no, because see, Mio and everybody else, like, if she was truly saying that, you know everybody would have freaked the heck out and we would have had problems and like, no, we gotta go talk to Mio's dad. We're like, what the heck is going on? Why are you moving and such? But I think that's a play. It seems like it. But I mean, the episode was pretty nice. I, I love the fact that in the end, towards it, it focused on Yui and Ui like a lot and even like finally having Ui be sick this time because Yui's been sick not once but twice and i was like if it's a third mother effing time you're like we gonna have problems with this dang show because i'm like come on man like every year during like the festival she gets sick and i was like at least once one time let her be 100 percent okay don't let her get sick and then when she called freaking Mio and said that she was sick. I was about to have a panic attack. Be like, oh my god, it's happening all over again. But thank god it was Ui and it wasn't that bad of a cold and such. She just really needed a good night's sleep. But it was so sweet to like have Yui make her some rice porridge, even though she was messing up the goddamn kitchen. My god, poor maybe she made a big not really a big mess, it was just like a small medium sized mess. Um, and hopefully she cleaned it up. It's tough, but she was just so cute. So nice. So, so nice to make her food and everything. Like, oh my god. Almost made me want to cry. Like, I was close to crying, but I was like, no. Mm -mm. Gotta hide my tears. 
hold them. It's okay. But it was just sweet. Really, really sweet. And just, mm. I think out of the lyrics, besides Yumi's lyrics, I did like Azanyan's lyrics, even though it was about Tung Chan. Um, Moogie's lyrics just felt like I was watching a, um, a case show. Like, not like Detective, well, a little bit like Detective Conan or, um, CSI Miami or uh, Law and Order, any of those type shows, crime shows and everything, because I'm like, did this girl, like, did you watch crime stuff while you were watching it? Because it seemed like that. And then poor Mio and her stump. Poor baby. She, like, I love her dearly, but she's, like, in a stump right now. She can't write good lyrics, but it's coming to her. She's, like, you know, I would say she's kind of, like, on a hiatus. Like, she, she has, um, the writer's, um, writer writer's block there we go um and so she can't really get a good behind song but i mean it's coming she's getting it i mean her animal the ones with like animals in it are very interesting but i don't think they would do so well with the group because of reasons but i mean her writer's block i feel like it's gonna be over soon and she'll be able to write good behind songs and such but it's just gonna take some time you know there's always a bad egg before you get to that really good, juicy, like, mmm song. And you're just like, yes, I gotta share it with everyone. But, yeah. Alright, go ahead and stop the video. I will see you guys in one second for episode 18. Bye! Okay, dokie. Alright, episode 18. But before we get started, just literally found out as I was loading it up that there is a, um, a logo on the right side of the corner. So there will be a little instant commercial break coming up but other than that let's go ahead and get started in three two one go <laughs> Mm. For meal. So we just gonna go. Uh, okay. So we skip the opening and we just start the episode. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's why this is like only twenty something minutes. No! Dang it, girl. But that's a little bit of stuff, though. Mm -hmm. Of course, salvage on sensor. <laughs> yeah, what is your class doing?
Y'all need six trees? Well, then, since there was no opening for this episode, oh, no. Will there be an ending in, like, a preview to episodes 19 and 20? I know. She's not really a main character, she's a tree, so. And then who would take her place then? Mm -hmm. You have to protect your voice. Just it, It's just like singing. Except there's no mic. Mm. Yeah. Keep going. You can do it. I really don't know how this is going to go.
Yeah. Yeah, you look more masculine. <laughs> I'm crazy if you laugh it too. <laughs> I think it kind of would have been better if Mio got the part of Julia and Ritsu got the part of Romeo because, I mean, Ritsu is masculine and Mio is very feminine. And you can see the difference between those two, but for those two to play polar opposites, it is a challenge for them. See, you're just doing it naturally. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you just think how it, you're like this and you're like that, see? Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, it's perfect. I know. But it's perfect. I know. Yeah. Just imagine it's just you two. Exactly. So pretty. Oh, interesting. Nice. It'll be like Blenness in a way. <laughs> Aww. Mm 
Hold on. Around the chest? Oh, of course. No <laughs> price. Oh, Go, you got this. You need a pen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus. That's true. And you still practicing your tree pose. I think it will. Yeah, so no ending either. Just preview to the next episode. I'm really excited to see how this play is going to go. I think Mio and Ritsu are the most interesting choices to play Romeo and Juliet but because of the fact is that, you know, Mio is basically portraying Ritsu as Romeo and Ritsu is in portraying Mio as Juliet. I think it's going to be a really good thing. And as Mio said, you know, Taking orders and being a waitress and acting are two different things. I mean, yes, you're playing a role. You're being an actress and you're getting orders and you're supposed to smile and say, you know, have you enjoyed your meal and such and other things. While with acting, you're taking a completely different character. You have to really get more like deep inside of it. Your emotions, your um, the way you think, the way you say something, the way you act and such. You're portraying everything about this character. So, yes, they are two different things entirely. But I think they can both get it. I mean, you know, when they were in Ritsu's room, and even though her brother was out there cracking up as well, eventually they got through it and they were able to project it. But Mio's still, you know, that shy type of girl. But when she's on stage and when she's performing a song with the girls, and because she has, excuse me, um, she has the girls by her side and such. She can be able to project and be herself without always being shy and timid. But because of the fact is this is just a Somli, you know, senior class doing this. And Azanyan's not going to be in this. She's going to be watching from the audience. And it's just going to be Mio, Mugi, Ritsu, and Yui. It is a little different because of the fact is the roles are very different. It's more mature in us. I mean, it's going to remind me a little bit like when Karkap Sakura did the Romeo and Juliet play, but uh, they didn't go into as depth as it because of the fact that the cloud card came in, and of course we had to do the cloud card, had to get them, and then continue on. But I think it's going to be really good. I, I hope both of them do a really good job on it. I mean, at first, you know, when the episode started and we found out these girls got these roles, I couldn't believe it myself because I was like, we're really having these two play the roles. Because, as I said, it would have been better um, if Ritsu got Romeo and Mio got Juliet. Because then it would have been perfect. They would have known how to play it. But because of the fact is the roles are switched for both of them, it's like becoming anew all over again. So they have to kind of not look at how they normally act towards each other and they have to switch the roles, which is interesting though. But it's like, at the same time, can they really do it? And they have proven that they could. I mean, hell, it was still mean that Ritsu was like, no, Mio doesn't get a break. And he just mm, had her in that creepy little smile of hers. But she looked cute though. <clears throat> um... But it makes me wonder, like, what is Azanyan's glass doing? And uh, hopefully, possibly with episode 19 or 20, we get to see it. And then hopefully as well. I mean, I think both episode 19 and 20 are still going to be both part one and part two of the school festival. So part one will just be focusing on the Romeo and Juliet aspect, the class performing, Sawachan and her freaking costumes and such, and how gorgeous they look, because Sawachan's sensei. 
And then part two will be the girls officially performing and showing um, the k group class, well, the class or club, um, one last time. Because, of course, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this series. We only really have nine episodes left. And who knows how these last nine episodes are going to go. And we're getting down to the nitty gritty where I feel like, as I said a couple of weeks ago, they're going to have a muse slash aqua moment where it's like, hey, we really got to think about this. Are we going to continue um, after school tea time when the four of us are still in college and Azanyan's still in high school? Or are we just going to put it on hiatus until Azanyan graduates and then once she's into college and we're all older, we can continue it then? I don't know because, I mean, at the same time, like when I think about them, they do remind me of most of the other characters in Bandity, like, with their group and how they all act, they kind of act like a little bit of popping party and kind of, not really, like, like there's moments where they kind of act like Roselia in a way, but it's a little of popping party and pastel palettes in a way, except they're not, like, an idol -y type group. They're just a typical band group, just like popping party. Because, it, I mean, with idols, you know, you have idols playing instruments and it's like that. And even though uh, Azanyan's voice actress is a singer and an idol in another anime that I've seen. But I, I think it's going to be really good for these girls. I just hope that everything between episode eight, uh, 18, episode 19 and 20 goes really good. Nothing goes wrong. I, I don't think anything's going to go wrong, but it's just a little prayer. Just hoping nothing goes wrong. Everything's good. You know, at least Azanyan, maybe she could record it so they can all sit and watch it together. Because even though we get to see it themselves, like ourselves, I want them to watch them perform. But then at the same time, Mio might get embarrassed because she's like, no, I don't want to see myself on camera performing this ish. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes <laughs> 17 and 18 of season 2 of k -On. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next Tuesday for episodes 19 and 20. Bye, guys.